Welcome back into the Fairbanks City News, everyone. Mike Schultz with you once again, taking a look at the weather and uh, it's still raining outside and there's actually some wind out there, but we are looking at that storm system to move out slowly overnight. And by tomorrow, we're just mainly partly cloudy to cloudy skies, so not too bad. What a gorgeous photograph. This one's set in by Debbie Dean. She got a picture at Broadpast. Look at the colors, just beautiful. Everybody remarking how, how gorgeous the colors are on this thing. Again, if you have a photograph to share, by all means, send it to me at Mike Schultz at KTBF11.com. Well, here's what's going on at the airport right now. 48 degrees after a high of 55, the cool air moving back in, a low of 43 last night, record high 76, 1910, 24 degrees in 1927 in your sunrise and sunset, 13 hours, 22 minutes of daylight, a loss of six and a half minutes from yesterday. And there's satellite and radar once again. You can see all that area of low pressure moving off to the east. It's just taking its time moving out and still spinning around, giving us that area of rain and even some wind coming in the backside and pulling in some cold air back in from the northwest, too. That's why it's cooling down like it is right now. Elsewhere across the state, not too bad over southeast Alaska, 70 degrees at Ketchikan. Rain falling around Ketchikan, or I should say Cold Bay. Also cloudy skies across the Gulf of Alaska. 40 degrees of barrel, that's not too bad. Fort Yukon raining and 54. And elsewhere temperatures in the 40s up and down the west coast. Well, back to Alaska, back to lower 48 right now. As you can see, we're looking at temperatures again. Very hot over Seattle, 93 degrees there. Lots of sunshine. Elsewhere, 85 at Salt Lake City. Again, a hot day in Dallas, Fort Worth. Thunderstorms over the northeast and the southeast as it last, for the last couple days it has been. Here's an area of low pressure. You can just see about circulation here. Again, lots of rain and hail, thunderstorms all over the southwest. Albuquerque, New Mexico, flooding with the rains there. More thunderstorms over the Florida Peninsula. Tomorrow, Oh, it looks like you'll be heading in the Pacific Northwest. Record challenging heat possible over uh, Oregon and Washington and hot, dry winds. Maybe more fires breaking out there, unfortunately. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Here's what it looks like in the northern sections. A little rain at Barrow and Nome. Cloudy skies expected in Fort Yukon. <coughs> Excuse me. Over uh, south, over the interior, I should say, looking at continued uh, cloudy skies early, becoming partly cloudy in the uh, Healy and Fairbanks areas. Over southeast Alaska. Cloudy skies at Juneau, but partly cloudy in Ketchikan. While out to the southwest, a mixed bag of weather once again. Scattered areas of rain at Cold Bay, Bethel, and Kodiak. Lots of showers there. And over the south central regions, we're looking at uh, mainly cloudy skies for Homer, Anchorage, and Valdez. So all in all, not too bad there. Once again, time for our kids' weather all this week, talking with the kids from Crawford Elementary School. Here's a young man tonight with a question for me. My name is William Richardson, and I'm in Miss Lewis's sixth grade class at Crawford Elementary. Here's my question for the weatherman. How do they change the satellite pictures into what you see on TV? A technical question. Well, we thanks to the folks at AccuWeather, I'm able to put in, uh, take those satellite pictures, put them in electronically, and then also colorize them to show you where the, the uh, different satellite uh, shows the cloud tops and also the, the um, precipitation that's falling from them. So good question there. Uh, and, and again, tomorrow night, we'll be looking with a question, or actually a weather fact, from the teacher. Uh, it'll be pretty interesting, too. You'll be looking forward to seeing that. All right, here's your forecast for the remainder of the night. Periods of rain early, then slowly ending, 43 degrees uh, by morning. Today, tomorrow's uh, forecast, 62 degrees, but morning fog, then skies becoming partly cloudy. And look at the temperatures cooling down on the five-day period, 56 degrees on Saturday, 57 on Sunday, and even cooler on Monday and Tuesday, 50 degrees. But overnight lows still hanging around that 40 degree march each 40 degree mark each night. No 30s expected right now, but uh, boy, it looks like we are definitely transitioning. And man, the colors on the trees are getting gorgeous out there. They really are beautiful. very beautiful. Yeah, it was a great photograph yeah. tonight too. That was a great yeah. picture.